in this new series, we're going over six essential features of the Northern Irish accent. If you're interested in the Northern Irish accent, and especially how to acquire it, then this series is an absolute must. Let's kick things off with the ow diphthong as commonly showcased in this saying. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? If this is your first time here, I'm Alistair, an English teacher and Northern Irish dialect coach. To know more about English, languages or accents, consider subscribing. Should you be serious about mastering your Northern Irish accent, then contact me using the details in the description below. Come with me to the laptop for a moment to explore the phonemic chart. This is a phonemic chart showing the 44 sounds used in British English. There is an equivalent in American English and other variations. If you're learning the Northern Irish accent, or indeed any English accent, this is your friend, a vital resource. The chart is broadly split into two sections. 24 consonants and 20 vowels. Pronunciation is physical. Perfecting an accent is physical and the chart is set out accordingly. Consonants can be physically located or described using the lips, teeth or tongue, for instance. They involve two surfaces and some form of obstruction. The p sound, for example, is composed of two phases. Pressing your lips together and holding them briefly before releasing the airflow. Additionally, the voice is activated. Vowels are harder to locate and there is no obstruction to the flow of air. They are split into two sections, monothongs and diphthongs. The tongue and mouth stays in one position in monothongs, whereas for diphthongs, the tongue and mouth have to move, combining the sound of two monothongs. How to produce and pronounce the ow diphthong in the Northern Irish accent is regarded by most as the trickiest aspect of this dialect. I don't know about the rest of you. In British English, the ow diphthong is composed of two monothongs. A as in cat and u as in good. Combining these a, u and sliding them together, we have the ow diphthong a, u, ow, as in how, now, brown, cow. Notice due to the two monothongs being combined, the mouth has to move. You should feel the rounded movement. It's kind of circular. Ow. The a in cat and u in good are single sounds and therefore do not require any movement of the mouth. Whereas the ow in Cow combines two monothongs and does require movement from the tongue and the mouth. Well, at least in the standard British English accent. The difficulty with this diphthong is how to say it in a Northern Irish accent. Natives here tend to speak far too quickly and the diphthong is either shortened or swallowed. Oi. Some have said that it's not technically even a diphthong. Ow, oi. In terms of producing this Northern Irish sound, I recommend slightly lowering the jaw and speaking in a deeper tone than usual. Critically not moving your mouth or tongue as you would in your native accent. Recently, a student of mine has suggested lowering the tongue too, so that it touches the bottom set of teeth. It's worth giving it a go if you're struggling with this particular sound. Now, listen to the differences and more importantly, feel the changes in your mouth. Ow, I. Ow, I. How, now, brown, cow. Hi, now, brown, cow. An hour in the power shower. An hour in the power shower. Here's one non native actor nailing the ow diphthong. Take the tunnel now! Whatever the team is, you do it now. I'm told Jonathan Price was able to ace the Northern Irish accent solely because he hired an on-set dialect coach. To do the same, contact me using the details in the description below. Now, for a breakdown of more actors attempting the Northern Irish accent, click here. Or to continue with this playlist, head over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.